Uh, yeah, I think um, they're definitely, uh, you know, kind of a measuring stick uh, for the rest of the league with the success they've had over the last couple of years. And um, I think as a team, this is a, a game where we want to be at our best. And um, I think we, you know, both games we had great efforts and, uh, um, you know, showed what we're capable of. Well, to start off, I think we did. A, we had a good plan, and we knew kind of what their setup was going to look like and their structure. And um, I think everybody was in right positions, and we weren't really giving them a whole lot of looks. And you know, those situations, it's always the scary ones are kind of the wrist shots from the top, and you never you're trying to make sure that Kemp's can see them and whatnot. But uh, I think our D did a great job of uh, fronting those pucks, and um, everybody on the ice did a good job of staying in position and. Yeah, we were tired at the end, but um, you know, at that point, it's just empty the tank. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, like you said. My job's just uh, finding sight lines, and um, the guys did a great job of of grabbing sticks and not allowing deflections and boxing them out so I could see the shots that they did get through. But we had a ton of blocks, and it's not easy for those guys to be out there for three straight minutes or whatever it is. But they, like Gabe said, they emptied the tanks and uh, never let up. Well, I think we're doing some good things, but you know, it's about being comfortable in those situations. And early on in the season, it was, you know, it could be some lopsided victories and and whatnot. But um, we know we have to be comfortable in those one one goal games, and especially like like this at home, or whether even if it's on the road try to stay on the gas as much as possible, which I think we did a pretty good job of in the third of, of creating some some zone time in their in their end. And because if you if you flip it around and, and we, you know, when we're chasing a goal, we never want to spend time in our zone. You want to get up and go. So uh, if we can spend some time down there, kill kill some clock and, and at the same time, create some scoring chances, which I thought we did. And I don't know how many shots we ended up with tonight, but I think we did a good job of creating a lot of scoring chances in different ways. Uh, yeah, I think um, our preparation over the break and once we came back and had a couple practices uh, really showed off tonight. I think we had a unbelievable start and we were ready to go. And, um, you know, that's a credit to everybody for, you know, practicing hard and, and getting our game back uh, right away and, and being ready to go. Lots of people probably think this could be a final pass up. What would you say to those people? Uh, I mean, we got half the season left. Obviously, if that was to be the case, you know, it'd be be a heck of a matchup. But you know, lots of time left, and um, yeah. Gabe, you guys have talked a lot this season about trying to focus your team and effort, and you mentioned you guys weren't having those moments tonight. Game winner, you make the save, you know, call the face bomb goal, goal, whatever. How close was this game for you guys putting together that play, part of the team? Yeah, pretty close. You know, there's still the two goals that they do get. I feel like it's. You know, there's some breakdowns that happen, and, and naturally that's going to happen. And you'd like to be able to correct those as they're happening and cover for one another. But a really good team, and you know, it's they're going to create scoring chances. You just got to make sure you limit them to the outside as much as you can. And um, but yeah, haven't had a chance obviously to to look back at the whole thing yet. Uh, it's pretty fresh in my mind. But I thought we did a good job throughout the whole game. And and like Kemp's was saying. Starts of that first period and those first few shifts, I felt like everybody was ready to go. And, um, you know, we put 24 shots on them in the first period and then just kind of trying to feed off of that the whole game. And even halfway through the second, when they started pushing, I thought we did a pretty good job of, of uh, keeping it to the outside and, and pushing back. Uh, well, we saw a view, I'm sure you, you all saw it as well, from the blue light camera, which looked like, you know, the overhead, you don't see anything because his glove is on top of the puck. But the blue light camera, or yeah, the, the camera that's over there by our bench, it looked like a good chance that it might have been across the goal line. But at the same time, they, it needs to be, you know, it needs to be pretty 
black on white there that it is in, and if not, then they can't call it a goal. And that's all Kelly said that, you know, in conversations with Toronto, they they didn't have enough to overturn it to goal. Yeah, I mean, that's we've got a lot of good skaters on this team, and especially on the back end that join the rush and, and uh, create odd man rushes. And that that goal, Nas does a good job. And, and it starts with EJ being in the right spot and breaking up the play. And Nas makes a nice dish. And Taser, never seen him skate that fast, but that was nice. Good finish. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've been really good at it lately, leading into the break, and then uh, nice to pick up where we left off, um, you know, coming out of the break. I think um, guys are getting really comfortable reading off each other and when to pressure and when to be a little bit more passive. Um, I think we're just getting comfortable with each other out there, and uh, we, obviously we want to keep building. Question for you. You know, you talked about pulling everyone in that group, just team for, for the week. For you individually, Andre Vasilevsky down there, I mean, you don't really think about that going into the game. You, you know, you want to do what you can to, to help uh, your team win, um, regardless of who's at the other end. Um, I was just focused on, on doing my job, and I don't like to think about things that are out of my control like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd like to think we would be 4-0 if Nate was in the lineup. <laughs> but, you know, guys have done a good job, and we say this every time somebody important goes down, and and everybody is. But guys are, you know, stepping up and next man up mentality. It's the broken record that we say every time, but that's that's the way it is. And, you know, you always like to focus on the guys that are in the lineup and, and are healthy and ready to go, and i um, excited to get Nate back. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks, everyone.